Hi guys, it's me, and today, of course, is, uh, it's been a while, hasn't it? And actually, it's been a while for another reason. We're using Vidi today. That's V-I-D-I, -I, the program that we used to use. Um, well, today it was talking to me, so I figured, why not? Uh, I am really relieved I got the, the computer, um, tape drive working, uh, everything, so that's pretty much it. It's done, so I can relist. Relist? Isn't there a Klingon? No, that would be relish. Oh, whatever. Anyway, um, so I can relax. Okay, that's, that's English. That's English. Um, so Rusty's here. You probably saw him a little while ago. He's kind of just. He's kind of a camera, how our camera cat. He likes to be shot on video, um, but unfortunately, sometimes I don't always get to be so video graphically suitable with him. But um, oh well, he's certainly been on a few videos with oh, uh, football, you know, fame. So they both been on camera, and of course they are going to be on camera quite often because they are pretty much regulars here. Anyway, today is, um, it's, it's Wednesday night, and I looked at the TV guy, it's just, it's shitty shows. It's nothing really majorly exciting. Um, I was hoping that, uh, uh, Save My Baker is going to be on again. It hasn't, um, Cake Boss isn't on. Um, cut through kitchen. I watched Sunday's episode. It wasn't too bad, but it wasn't really that great. Uh, so basically, we're just doing nothing. And as you probably can hear, we have the air conditioner running today because it was getting a little humid in here. And um, so, pretty much, like I said, it's been a pretty much a no-brainer. Uh, Weather for tomorrow will be a little bit cooler. I got a doctor's appointment um, to uh, for a follow-up on my uh, blood work. I'm not really looking forward to stepping on that dreaded scale of theirs. Um, I know I've worked on trying to find um, something that works for me as a weight regimen. I don't know how well it worked. I know that when measuring tape tells me, says it's worked, but you know, there's been a lot of stress um, in the last few weeks, and I'm sure my cortisol has been pumping big time between all the issues with the videos and stuff like that. You'll notice that the new PowerVolt video is being uploaded, or hey, by the time you see this, it will be already be up online. Um, it took a lot of work to do that. It isn't really like Pulitzer Prize winning or Academy Award winning, but it certainly is a wonderful demonstration of how to practically use an autoloader with your computer and how it works. So if you want to learn about the basics, ins and outs of the machine as far as you know, practical work about how to use it, how to import export tapes, and things like that. This would be a great opportunity for you. Anyway, I talked to a, another person that seems to be kind of similar to uh, Susan Gerth. Her name is Rochelle Forsberg, um, trying to um, tell me that Louis is a bad person and all that. And I really kind of got. Um, I have to seriously ask a couple questions of all those Christian people out there. First of all, why do you guys keep quoting a de uh, an old book? You say your religion is a living religion, and yet you're always quoting writings from 2,000 plus years ago. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, I have nothing against Christianity. I am, I was born and raised as a Catholic. I certainly understand the Catholic Church. I certainly understand the Christian paradigm. 
but I do not quite grasp why the importance of trying to push your face system on somebody else. I think that's just a little bit too. Um, maybe we, need, you know, I, I'm willing to talk to anybody, really. But you know, I've always been in my face system. I've always been very open-minded and saying is, okay, if you believe in what you do, that's fine. I just wish to ask you to respect my faith because my faith, to me, is just as important as your faith is to you. Um, so I explained to Rochelle Forsberg, I would be willing to talk to you. And Lumi also sent her a message as well. Actually, you sent it because you forgot she was sending it to me. And then, of course, she replied and sent it to her. Well, that's because at first I didn't think she knew um, your email address. She knew it. She sent it to me directly. Okay. Anyway, so the point is, is, but I agree with your answer 1,000%. It was perfectly worded, and I think it really answered a lot more than just the basics. Um, so, you know, keep her hand. Also, Jonathan Ong wanted to know more about um, astral travel. And I told him I'd have to get back to him on one of the questions. One of the questions he asked me was, how do you set up your security system against unwelcome intruders into your body in form of negative entities when you're using astral travel? And like I explained to him, I said, I've been doing astral travel since I was a little girl, and I haven't really, really given it much thought. Um, but let me point out what I have known to instinctually do is you got to leave a little bit of you behind. I mean, you got to at least keep like an eye or ear open, if you will, um, so that you can listen for things or at least sense things that something's going on. Um, it's 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 really a good topic. Another individual asked me, is, is astral travel the same thing as remote viewing that the CIA is doing in the NSA? That's a great question. Um, that's more like astral projection because at remote viewing is non-interactive. You're not interacting with the um, the thing that you're looking for. It's more like you're just trying to use the remote viewing as a way of kind of picking up an, uh, uh, signals from it, like a TV antenna. You're the TV receiver and someone else's the remote camera. Um, I know that's kind of a stupid example. I'm sorry, I've been trying to come up with an answer to something that I've only... And I understand, you know, pretty well what it is, but trying to explain it to everyday person is fairly difficult. So anyway, I want to let you know that things are going okay. And of course, next... <coughs> oh, yes. Just in case you wondered what happened to my computer after I mentioned in the end of the video that I was restoring <coughs> the tapes. Um, I was able to do it. But like I said, I did not um, fully back up every single thing. Um, so there were some things that I kind of had to um, rehash, if you will. Um, like, for example, I had to reinstall the operating system, and I had to reinstall a lot of applications that were not installed already, and, um, and that apparently Linux is tar kind of, uh, makes a mess of the OS X's file directories, which resulted in, in a, uh, a pile of things to run through with disk utility to fix. Um, but I did indeed get the, um, the system to um, back up and recover my data with some minor mites. I also contacted the company that creates uh, ES Backup that we were going to use for the Mac, which was 4.17. And... I explained to them that I do not have the kind of money that they're asking for to register the program, which is 450 U.S. dollars. <coughs> I asked them, 
if they could um, maybe negotiate a better deal, maybe something like $30 since I'm only an individual and I'm not a business. Um, so maybe they'll get back to me and uh, we'll be able to work on a, a, a better license agreement than $450. Um, the Also, the IO SCSI tape driver that was being created by another individual the reason why that never worked for me was the guy compiled for the Intel processor and unfortunately um, I did not know that until I started wondering why I was getting errors about wrong CPU and all that so um, that's the reason why um, it wasn't working. Um, so I contacted him. That's an open source product. And the problem is, is I do not know how to compile it on Xcode. I never compile a program on Xcode. I have no experience compiling a program in Xcode. Obviously, I need certain libraries I don't have to compile it on Xcode, uh, as far as I can tell. So there was a lot of little, you know, things that I'm going to need help with. And I explained to the forum group that I'm going to need some assistance to make that driver work for me. So, anyway, that's the nutshell. And, oh, yes, we do have one more thing coming tomorrow. Um, it's really not a, a, a big deal. Um, but I certainly probably will show it to you when it's installed. Even though it is a single drive unit of the DLT VS80. In other words, it only... you. It's, it's not an R loader. You just pop a tape in, it reads it, writes it, and ejects it, and that's it. So it's not an R loader. Um, and I'll be here tomorrow. Uh, I'm not, as I said, I'm not too enthusiastic about the fact that I got a medical doctor's appointment tomorrow. And because uh, I'm always afraid of getting on the scale because, it, you know, he has this habit of making me feel bad without even saying a word. And, um,. I have been fighting a battle of the bulls since I was very, very, very young, and I'm not too comfortable um, having to uh, experience being masked out on the scale. It makes me nervous. But anyway, so I wanted to let you know that for the time being, things are okay. Uh, yes, I do have to buy a new hard drive um, in July, but the good news is that's not going to cost me much. And also, honestly, I really need a bigger hard drive anyway. Uh, but for right now, um, I'd like to ask you all of you your opinions. And this, please, guys, I'm asking you this, those of you who are knowledgeable about computers, um, is which brand of hard drive... Now, I'm not only talking about hard drives. I'm not talking about solid state, okay? Which brand... Of hard drive, I've, I mean, I've heard some people say Western well, Digital, some people say Seagate, is more reliable. Okay, so that's the question. Which brand of hard drive is more reliable? Uh, the hard drive has to be for SATA. Okay, and I'm thinking about something anywhere from 250 gigabyte, which is about the size I had, to um, possibly bigger size uh, in three and a half inch form factor. And um, you can just leave your comments in the area below. Also, I was going to have a contest asking you to tell me if I should bleep or turn my hair black. Um, like I explained to Sherry, she said to me that I should go black. Um, but I haven't heard from anybody else. So I think that means, without even asking, is why go black? It's, it's not going to really make a damn difference anyway. It's just going to make... It's, it's already hard enough to get the lighting right with the hair as it is now. It's all black. It's going to take a lot more illumination to uh, make my hair look up good on camera. At least my, my uh, hair kind of acts as a reflector now. So it kind of reflects the lights back into the camera. So anyway, I'm going to talk to you later. And don't forget to like, share, comment. And if you're not a subscriber... Subscribe to the channel, and then you always will be kept abreast of all new topics. Okay? See you soon. Bye-bye.